Here are five things that people say that are red flags for emotional immaturity, according to the School of Life on YouTube. Number one, I'm not so good at spending time on my own. Emotionally immature people are incapable of spending time alone with their thoughts and feelings because they have no tools to cope with any distressing or disturbing or negative thought or feeling. They need constant distraction of video games or company or TV or shopping or social media or something like that. Number two, I don't remember much about my childhood. An emotionally immature, an emotionally immature person has not faced their childhood and processed it in a mature way. A mature person may have had a good childhood or a bad childhood, but at least they have a realistic appraisal and assessment of their actual childhood. Number three, I've never thought about that before. An emotionally immature person has not taken the time and done the work to reflect deeply on their own life and on their own experiences, on their joys and disappointments, their heartaches, their triumphs, their hopes and fears. They just haven't thought about it. Again, at the root of many of these things is because they don't have the tools to cope with the emotional distress and upset that might result from that kind of reflection. Number four, everything is fine, really. Emotionally immature people cannot tolerate negative emotions of any kind. Uh, they can't tolerate, you know, uh, anger or fear or vengeance or resentment or disappointment. And so they have this veneer of everything being fine. They emotionally immature have very fragile egos and they're not able to cope with negativity. So they maintain this um, false appearance that everything is fine. Number five, that's just a bunch of psycho babble. Emotionally immature people, again, have very fragile egos. If you talk about feelings, emotions, deep thoughts, you know, if you're reflective, if you talk about psychological issues, this will be threatening to them because their whole life and identity is a castle made of sand. It's always in danger of falling apart. So uh, anything you say that probes those sort of deeper psychological or emotional issues, they have to mock and they mock it by saying that's all psychobabble. So beware of these five red flags. You can't fix people who are emotionally immature. Best to probably um, bid them farewell until they mature some.